First and foremost, I want to say call hello, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. That's all praise to the Most High God in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. And I've never held camp out here, like on this side of Dallas, man, but our people are destroyed. Man. Our people are, you give me Hosea 13, verse 9. Break it out, huh? You give me Tobit, chapter 12, verse 10. Out, huh? Our people are destroyed and their enemies yeah, to themselves, man. That's right. Our people need to be saved from themselves, man. Hosea 13 and verse 9. I'm going to start there. That's not even where I want to start it, but man, that's, that, that's, that needs to come out. It's the book of Hosea, chapter 13, verse... It's like verse 9. Oh, Israel! Oh, Israel! Oh, black, Hispanic, and Native American. That's the only people you see out here riding the trains, man. Go ahead. Thou has destroyed thyself! The what? Destroy thyself. And how are we destroying ourselves? With Christianity, with idols, with smoking, with uh, taking another man's wife, with these, with all these rappers that y'all exalt in high esteem. We've destroyed ourselves in this, man. Go ahead. But in me is thine help. In who? But in me is thine help. In him, Yahweh, man. The Lord, that's who's our help, man. Don't, aren't y'all tired of riding the train? That's right. Aren't y'all tired of being the first, uh, the uh, the first fire, last hired man? Ain't y'all tired of seeing our women being thirty-six year old grandmothers? Aren't y'all tired of that, man? Y'all ain't sick. Y'all aren't just sick to your stomach at the state of our people, man. But you know what? Yeah, of course they're not, because it's all about. That's not. Israel is all about themselves. It's all about getting, as long as I can get paper, who gives a damn about my nation, man? And that's why we're still destroyed to this day, man. Because nobody cares about, you give me you give me Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17. Nobody cares about fixing their nation, man. The so-called white man will help each other. The so-called, the Moabites, the so-called Chinese man will help each other. All these other, God. They all, they all help each other, but the, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American is, is the type of people who will see somebody down and just kick them down. Break it out, huh? That's, it's ridiculous, bro. And y'all wonder right. why we destroyed. Y'all like, I, <laughs> I remember bringing this out in my job. I said, why, we, why do our people have this crab in a bucket type of mentality, right? He said, well, he said, well, uh, if, uh, he said, uh, if, if I pull somebody down, that's why I can get up, man. I can get up if I pull somebody down. That's the only way to get up, man. That's not the only way to get up. That's right. Break it out. Huh? If we help each other get up, we'll get up outside of the bucket, yeah, man. Right, and what's going to happen? Right, right. The Most High God's going to put the Spirit upon us, so we raise up an exceedingly great arm. Get that. Hold that. Oh, that's, that's the first principle I want. Hold that. You give me that Ezekiel about us raising up as a, raising up as a, a great exceedingly a great Break it exceedingly out, army. Break it out. That's Ezekiel uh, 40, uh, 37. 37. You go ahead and get this. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 7. Select chapter 17, chapter 19, 19 verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. And that's what we do. We hate each other. How do you know that we hate each other? Because we don't correct each other. If we see somebody smoking a cigarette, we just let them walk past, man. If we see somebody jamming songs about people taking people's wives, we just continue and just say, oh, that's cool, let me listen to it too, man. We, we, we like to perpetuate all type of wickedness and folly, and you wonder why you're at the bottom, Jake. That's right. You wonder. You wonder why you're the easiest to get destroyed. You wonder why you're the easiest to get taken advantage of. Because you continue to hate each other. Go ahead. And not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. But thou shalt love thy neighbor. Read that verse again. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. And that's another thing, man. Jake likes to continue to bear gr bear grudges on each other, man. They'll they'll be on they'll be on the news every single day. Forgiven to somebody who came and shot your shot your your father, your brother, and give them a hug. But let's let let another so-called black Hispanic man do that to you. You want you would want you want him under the jail, man. Right. You want to kill that man. Right. Y'all 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 quick to Jake is quick to forgive every single person outside of the black Hispanic and Native American. Right. Hey, right. Right. It's it's a shame, bro. Right. It is a shame. Go ahead. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And we shall love thy neighbor as thyself. You give me uh, 2 John 6, man. Because that's another thing. Jake don't know what love is. 
Jake, Jake, Israel, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man doesn't know what love is. They think giving somebody a hug is showing love. It's the, they think giving somebody a chicken sandwich is love. Let's, let's, see what, let's see what love is according to the Bible. It's the book of 2 John, verse 6. And this is love. Now the Bible's going to define what love is. Go ahead. That we walk after his commandments. Let we do it. Walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. And we heard this from the beginning. Where do we hear this from the, uh, from the beginning? When the law was given to us from Mount Sinai. Go ahead. Verse 7. For many deceivers are in entered into the world who confess that Jesus Christ is come in flesh. It's not coming from has not no. right, oh, yeah, you right, you right, you right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jesus Christ come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. And a what? And an antichrist. And I went into this a few weeks ago, man. A lot of our people are just antichrist, man. Right. Hey, right. If you're anti this Bible and all the scriptures, you're antichrist. Because who is Christ? The word made flesh. So if you hate these scriptures and you run from them and, and you hate when they come out, you don't hate us. You hate God and you hate his son. Right? Yeah, right. And what does that mean? You're an antichrist. That's verse right. Nine. Verse 9. Whosoever transgresses and abided not in the... Hey, read, read it slow. Right? Read it slow. Whosoever transgresses... Whosoever sins or break these commandments and abided not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. Yeah, you have not God. So if you transgress, if you sin, you break these commandments. And matter of fact, don't the Christian church say the law is done away with? Hey, brother, brother, you got two seconds to hear about the word of God? Of course, of course yeah, of course not, man. That's our people, bro. Go ahead and read it. He that abided in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. So if you abide in the doctrine of Christ, which is keeping the law, statutes, commandments, like he told you to, right. and you say, if you love me, keep my commandments, if you, if you abide in that, you have the, you have him and the Father. Go ahead. That's right. Verse 10. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, mm -hmm. receive him not into your house, mm -hmm. neither bid him God speak. So don't be like these Christians. Because right. right. you know what, what are they going to do? Next thing you know, you're worshiping words of that. You're worshiping this right here, man. Cesare Bolger, man. This homosexual, man. You're worshiping this. Now you got a Christmas tree, which is a phallic symbol, man. You got you got a man's phallus in your house and you're decorating it. And the scriptures specifically condemn that, man. See, y'all y'all don't understand, bro. People don't understand when they walk past us and just and just and just don't care, bro. That's the most the most high is giving you your opportunity to get a chance to be saved, but you want to walk past it, man. What you got? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. This is the book of Sirach, chapter eleven, verse twenty-nine. Bring not every man into thine house, for the deceitful men have many trains. Trains, um, but the deceitful men have many trains. Um, like as a um, patron taken and keep in a cage, so is the heart of the proud. Like a spy, watch if he for thy fall. And that's what that's what you have to do, man. You have to watch. You have to watch and see who you take you who bring in your house, man. And the doctors they come in with. Because some people say the law is done away with. Or, and matter of fact, I'll give you an example of that. You let them you let them come in your house. Now your son's a Christian, man. Now he's saying the law is done away with. Now he's a seven day the seven day Adventist, man. Now he's now he's uh he's, he's worshiping this. Now he's celebrating Christmas, which is really the most homosexual holiday in the world. And y'all want to attach the y'all want to attach the word Christ on it, which means anointed, <laughs> the anointed mass. But, but, but what what happens what happened during that, man? A, whole, a lot of homosexuality and a lot of, a lot of beating their wives, man, in Greece. But y'all want to celebrate that? That's madness, man. That's why you can't allow all these all these doctrines and all the people with these doctrines inside your house, man. Let's go let me get back to the crux of my lesson. Give me Tobit chapter 12, verse 10. Okay. Right, this is the book of Tobit, chapter 12, verse 10. But they that sin are enemies to their own life. Read it again. But they that sin so those of our people, the Israelites, the black, Hispanics, Native Americans, those that sin or transgress, do what? are enemies to their own life that's what our people is man they're enemies to their own life 
you hate yourself when you transgress these commandments. Brother, you got two seconds to hear about the word of God, man. Why not? Because you want to die? Is that what it is? Then why you don't want to hear about the why you don't want to hear about the word of God? Yeah, you just chilling. Well, if you're chilling, why don't you come hear the word of God, man? Work it out, huh? Bro, check this out. You give me you give me uh first John chapter uh chapter one verse was that five? So I got a message for you, brother. You give me, hold what you got. You give me uh, Proverbs 6, verse 23. Bring it out, huh? Yeah. First John, second one, verse 23. All right, this is the book of First John, chapter 1, verse 5. Mm -hmm. This then is the message which we have heard of him mm -hmm. and declare unto you that God is light mm -hmm. and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him. So if we say we have fellowship with the most high God. And walk in darkness, mm -hmm. we lie. We lie. And that's what a lot of these Christian churches tell you, man. They tell you you can do whatever you want, which is darkness. Only, the only light in this word, world is the most high God and the wisdom thereof. Watch this. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, and verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp. Commandment is a what? For the commandment is a lamp. Mm -hmm. And the law is light. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. And the reproofs are, of instruction are the way of life. We're here trying to save our people, man. We're trying to get our people off, off mur being murderers, being idolaters, being adulterers. That's what we're trying to do, man. And we're trying to wake up the 12 tribes of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, That's and right. tell them that they are the chosen people of God. That's Most right. God is their God. The God of the Bible is their God. And their kings and rulers on this earth, man. Bring it out. That's the whole purpose of us being That's out here, right. man. And that's what the word of God says. You give me, you give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter uh, 28, verse 16, man. How did we get here? How did the so-called black man get to America? Uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's right. But according, but what vehicle of transportation did they, did they go through to get here? Boats? Watch this. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee. It's to Egypt again with ships. So the Most High God said He's going to bring us into Egypt again. Yeah, bring us into Egypt again with ships. So now, do you know about do you know about what happened in Israel, Egypt, with the Hebrews? About Moses? Do you remember you seen the movie Prince of Egypt? You ever, okay, I'll give you a synopsis, right? A real quick synopsis. Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, had had uh, children who went into Egypt, and when a new a new ruler, a new pharaoh, uh, was. Uh, was established and brought up into power, he oppressed the Israelites. And on top of that, yeah, he, he oppressed the Israelites, and then the Most High God saved them out of out of, uh, out of Egypt through Moses. Now, during that time, they were slaves to the Egyptians. No, right here, the Most High God says what? Read it again. Verse 68, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Egypt again with ships, go ahead. By the way whereof... Read it, read it again, read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Egypt again with ships. He's going to bring you into captivity or slavery again with ships. Go ahead. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more. The Most High God told us in Deuteronomy chapter 17 verse 16 that we wouldn't see physical Egypt again. So this is talking about a spiritual Egypt. Let me, let me finish and I got you. I got you. I got you. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Now, when we came here from Africa on the slave ships, what happened to us? Well, you can say that, but what specifically? Like, as in, what, like, right as we came off the ships, what happened to us? Yeah, which well, is captivity. But the point I'm trying to get to is, we were sold. We were, you, you know, you seen the auction blocks? I think there's a there's the auction block, uh, not even that far away from here, man. You got that on there? That's what happened. We got sold to our enemies, just like the scripture said. Go ahead. And ye, and ye shall be sold unto your enemies for born men, slave man, and born women. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you. That body's going into redeem you. Nobody's going to save you out of this captivity. Right, right That's now. what happened to us. That's why we're still here to this day, man. That's right. So the scriptures, like 4,000 4, plus years right. before this happened, prophesied that the Israelites would go on to slave ships and to captivity and be sold so who does this apply to man us so what does that have to mean 
the weirdest people, man. That's we are the right. Israelites. That's, that's right. What I'm right. Do, man. Teach them so you give me Deuteronomy chapter uh, 12, verse 10. There you go. That's uh, right. Go ahead and ask your, ask your question, brother. Who made the Bible? Scribes. Israelite scribes made the Bible. The Bible really goes back to a Greek word. I think it's Biblios. Biblios, and it's a collection of books. That's right. That's all it is. Bring it out, like, that, like the so-called books of Moses, which is the Torah, which is Genesis through Deuteronomy. Then you have the prophets. Then you have the history books, and you got the wisdom books, like uh, Ecclesiastes, Job, uh, Proverbs. Then you got the so uh, Psalms. Yeah, the, you have the, the so-called New Testament, which was the accounts of Christ. And then you got the Acts of the Apostles. You got Paul's Pauline uh, letters, and you got Revelation from John. That's, that's a quick synopsis of all of it. You got another question? Now watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 12 and verse 10. But when ye go over... No, no, 12 verse 10. 10 and 12. 10 and 12. Got Gotcha. The water. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So the most I got... Oh, sorry. So the most I got... Requires something of the Israelites, who we are according to that prophecy that I just showed you, right? Most of God requires us to do something. Go ahead. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve him. To do, to do what? And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. We have to keep the commandments of the Lord, man. That's what we have to do. That's why we come out here to teach our people. Because when we don't keep the commandments of the Lord, what happened to us? We go. We got brought onto. We got brought into captivity on slave ships, man. That's right. Our wives got taken from us in captivity, which is another curse. That's right. These, all these curses will come upon us if we don't keep these last statutes and commandments. Man. That's right. That's why the Most High God requires us to. Because if we do, give me, give me uh, Deuteronomy twenty-eight verse one. Because you, you can, when you admit the so-called black man is, is on the bottom in America, when you admit that, you would admit, okay, who's lower than the so-called black man? Bring it out. Come on, Teach man. Up. Who's yeah. lower than the so-called black man? I would Wake like, up. I would like to know. Wake him up, huh? There's a majority. As a majority, man. Talk to the camera. Yeah, 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 man. That's <laughs> give me the give me Deuteronomy 28, yeah. verse 1. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Bring it out up! To observe and to do all his commandments. That's right. Which right. I command thee this day. That's Most right. God said, if we, if, we, if we keep these lost statutes and commandments, he's going to do this to us. What is it going to be? That the Lord thy God will set thee above. Slacky. The Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. That's Most right. God's going to set us above all nations of the earth, man. That's what we're coming out here to tell our people. Because when we don't keep these, where do we be at? At the bottom, man. First uh, first fire, last hired. Man. That's yeah, right. Like, right. Got, like I said earlier, 36 year old grandmothers, man. We got 12 year old baby mamas, man. Bring it out, huh? That's who right. Is, right. Man, who is dealing with that, man? Bring it out, huh? The Israelites. Now, if we keep these all such commandments, that won't happen to us no more, man. That's we'll right. know how to treat each other. Right. We'll know how to be. Give me give me 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 2. Bring it out, bro. Bring it out. Bring it out. Our men don't know how to be men, bro. Wake them up, bro. We're here to tell our people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, how to be men. Bring it out, This is the book of 1 Kings chapter 2. 2 verse 2. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and shew thyself a man. Show thyself a man to do what? And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. So walk in his ways to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest and whatsoever thou turnest thyself. That's so if right. we keep these all such commandments, that's how we show ourselves to be men, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's why we don't turn around and pop, pop women for no reason, man. That's a kid thing to do, bro. Check it out. Yeah, man, we taking these we taking these women as wives. That's that's right. 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 That's right. You know how to do that by keeping the law statutes that's commandments. Right. That's right. You know that's how right. to not take somebody else's wife by keeping the law statutes of commandments. That's right. 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 You, you get verse 15. Oh no, give, don't give me that yet. Give me 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 19. Work it out. Work it out. Issue, bro. 
And we, you, you listen to rap music, right? Now, in rap music, what are the, ma the, the, the main things they perpetuate in rap music? You know what it is, man. Like, you know on, exactly what it is. What it is. Bring it out, right? what is it? Drugs, taking another man's wife, murder. with a murder. I, I didn't cap somebody. They can't, oh. Jay can't make a song without trying to have some folly in it. At all, bro. What you got? Disrespecting their dad. Disrespecting their dad, man. Get this, right? All right, this is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 19. Bring it up! Holding faith in a good conscience. Not 1 Timothy 15, 1 verse 9. Oh, 1 verse 9, okay. okay, okay. All right, okay, yeah. Uh, this is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 9. Jeez. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. Now, the law isn't made for people who already know what they need to be doing. The law is made for people who what? But for the lawless and disobedient, right. for the ungodly and for the sinners, yeah. for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers yeah. and murderers of mothers, yeah. for manslayers. Yeah. Now, who does that sound like? All those things, who does that sound like? Us, man. Murderers of fathers, murderers of mothers, manslayers. For people who do what? There's more. For whoremongers. For whoremongers. For them that defile themselves with mankind. Homosexuality. Like, you see all this stuff, man? This, this, we, this is why we need the law. That's right. So we can prosper and stand manfully. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wake up and stop, stop, stop trying to uh, establish our righteousness by this world, man. Because right. what, what does the world, what does America say? Homosexuality is all right. You can do whatever you want to do, just get some money, man. Right. How has that ever helped us? Right. How is that? As a matter of fact, another thing, these churches, man. These churches say just sow a seed and everything will be all right. But how long have we been doing that for, brother? How long have we been giving the churches all of our, our last dime, our last our last penny, man? Bring it how up! How we doing that and nothing's come from it? That's right. Why don't we try something new? That's Why don't we right. actually do what the Bible tells us to do? Right? Yeah. That's, right. That's the whole purpose of us being out here, man. That's what we do. And that's the whole purpose the most I God let you stand right here, man. So he put the spirit upon you so that you have a choice now, man. Because right. now you now since you know this, the most high God is gonna most high God is gonna remember that and he's gonna see what you're gonna do about it, man. That's right, you that's right. Take heed to this word. Uh, now you can drop that. Give me uh uh, Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26, man. Check it out, huh? Because the most high God's giving you a chance right now. You can either take you can you can actually take heed to this word and do what it says, or you can just, you can say, nah, screw it, I'm just going to just be a nigga in America and do whatever I want to do, and the most like God's going to put you to death. Man. That's right, guys. Right. Right. We, we, persuade, we, we persuade men by the fear of the most high God, man. That's right. Because he is an omnip omnipotent power, bro. He can kill you, like, just, just like this, man. We have, we have people, we have somebody, uh, there was a video I seen a long time ago, somebody came up to a camp like this and just, just, just decided to be a, just, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm playing like an asshole, man. They like to be an asshole to the prophets. And guess what happened to them? That same day they got killed. And they had it on another video. You know who, who was that? Who was that that had that video? They had that video that when people were trying to stop in front of the prophets. Oh yeah, they yeah, got yeah. killed like the next week. The next week, man. Shot. That's what happens, man. The most I got sees you. He sees this. Oh, watch this one. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 26. Bring it up! For if we sin willfully. After that, we receive the knowledge of the truth. So right now, you're receiving the knowledge of the truth that we need to keep these laws, and commandments, that you are an Israelite, and you need to stand manfully. Go ahead. But it says, read it again from the top. For if we sin willfully, after, as if you sin willfully, if you decide to just say, screw it, go ahead. After that, we receive the knowledge of the truth, there remained no more sacrifice for sin. No! That's right, you, my brother. That's all we're telling. That's all we're trying to tell you, man. Our people has you have a choice, man. You can continue to be a nigga and walk up and down the streets and let the Most High judge you. I mean, yeah, let the Most High judge you, or you can keep His lofty commandments and have a chance to be saved. Man. Yes, bring it out. That's all we're telling our people. Tell them, because that's the only thing that's gonna change this, bro. Tell them, look at all this right here. You're looking at people who used to run the streets, man. You look at the people who used to who used to be drug dealers. You look at the people who used to do women dirty, bro. But guess guess what we did? We repented. We were just like you. We were just in your shoes right now, having to make a decision. Am, am I am I gonna change my life, or am I gonna just continue to just get on the train and do whatever the hell I want to do? That's right. And you know, just chill. Yeah, just chill, bro. And we can we can do that in the most high God can judge. Matter of fact, you give me you give me set. You got a you got a precept. Okay, yeah, I got a precept. Oh, hold, hold, it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You give me Second Chronicles chapter uh, 15, verse 13. Break it out. Watch huh? this, right? Go ahead. All right, this is the book of um, Titus chapter um, chapter 3, verse 3. 
For we ourselves also were sometimes, sometimes foolish, foolish mm -hmm. disobedient, um, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures. So, so yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Basically, we was doing what you was doing. Like, we weren't taking heed to the word of the Lord. Right. As soon as we heard it, so that let you know, like, from what we doing, if the Lord put the spirit on you, you can be doing the same thing we doing because we came from the from the bottom just like you did. Now That's we right. the spirit of the Lord, we on top with this life. Feel me? And a little bit more. Um, diverse lust and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. And that's what we go through in these streets right now. People be, we hating each other. But once we learned that was off according to the Bible, we thought on our ways, we changed that. You know what I'm saying? We wanted that mercy from the Lord. So now we standing up here like what a man's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? That's so right. That. So that's don't take right. it that we went in your position at one time also. That's right. That's right. That's, that's right. right. That's we ain't right. better than right. nobody, man. No, no, we, we, we ain't better than you. We just keep the law of the commandment so we have the opportunity to be saved. That's, that's, that's all we do, bro. That's, that's, that's we, we're trying to... What, what people don't understand, we're, we're talking Israel off, we're talking Israel of jumping off a cliff, my brother. We're trying to save your life. Because if you decide, if you decide to just walk away from this, you're just jumping off a cliff, man. Eventually, the Most High God is going to just let you fall and die. That's, That's right. And watch this. It's the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 15 and verse 13. That whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death. What's going to happen? Should be put to death. Whether, whether small or great, whether man or woman, and they, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it on it, man. Whether man or woman or child, everybody can get it, my brother. That's what we out here to tell you, man. Now, you give me, uh, you give me, uh, you give me Ecclesiastes 4, verse 13, right? Go ahead. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 2. This is for you right here. Keep my commandments and live. Commandments and what? Live. And my law as the apple of thine eye. Bind them upon thy fingers. Right. Basically break that down. Put the apple of the eye. The apple of your eye. Basically like this, this is something you need to be striving for. This needs, this needs to be your, your only thing that you're focused on. Man. That, that goes perfectly with the Christian whole you need to be striving for this because this is your whole That's duty right. on the earth, man. That's right. Bring it up! 12 verse, 12 verse 13. That's this is right. your only duty on the planet, man, to keep these law, statutes, and commandments. That's so, right! That and coupled with faith is the only thing that's going to save you, man. That's Cause, right! Because if right. we all have this, what else do we have, what, what else do we have to, to have faith in, man? Teach up! Look, Egyptology ain't done nothing for us. That's, you see people just pipping out women. Teach. People still Jamin. scanning, taking money from women. That ain't did nothing. Christianity ain't done nothing for our people. Yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, being a uh, being in Islam has never done nothing for our people. Yes, yeah, right. Islam said you could beat your wife. Right that's in their book. Come yeah. 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 on, man. How, how is that gonna help us, man? This is the only thing that we can have faith in that will actually show progress in our people. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter twelve and verse thirteen. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. What? Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of man. This is your whole purpose. When somebody asks you what your purpose in life is, it's to keep the law of the commandments of God. That's, right. That's it. And I'll tell you why too. Go ahead. Verse 14. For God shall bring every word into judgment. Anybody should go do what? God shall bring every word into judgment. And every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. That's it. That's it on that, man. The most high God's gonna bring every work into judgment. Every single thing. Go ahead. And when you go into that word debt, when you look at um when you go into the word duty and duty and the etymology it means debt. So basically you owe the Lord to do this. He woke you up this morning, he gave you your family, anything you got. You owe the Lord. So That's you're right. supposed to be doing this anyway. That's you owe right. him. You got a task with the right. Lord. You bring it up. That's right. Right. Heck, man. He saved us out of Israel. I mean, out of Israel. He saved us out of Egypt, man. Bring it up. That, that right there, we, we own from that, man. That's right. He could have just right. left us there. He could have let us just be a regular nation just in the world. But he decided to separate us. Give me Leviticus chapter uh, uh, 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me uh, Leviticus chapter 20, verse uh, 26, man. He decided to bring us up out of Egypt and, and uh, save us from Pharaoh and to make us a holy people above all nations, man. Let me get one more after this. Give me, uh, let me, let me Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. I'm going to finish it off there. 
book of Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 26 and ye shall be holy unto me most like I said we're going to be holy holy means set apart for I the Lord am holy and have served you from other like have severed you from other people that ye shall be mine see he could have left us in Egypt but guess what he decided to save us from there and then sever us from all the other people to make us a great nation. To give us a law of Sagittarius commandments for life. To help us, man. Now read the, read this and I'm going to finish up and pass off to the next people. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art in the holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the most I got said we're a holy people unto him. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. He had chosen us. To be a special people unto himself yeah. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You are above every nation, above, upon the face of the earth, my That's brother. Right. 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 All the white right. man, right. man, the so-called white man, the, uh, the what, what else, the, the Asian man, the Japanese man, the Moabites, whatever, man. Your, your, your people are the Samoan yeah. of every single one of them, man. That's, That's right. right. Keep right. on this earth. That's right. And you got to keep these law of commandments so we can be saved. Man. That's right. That's right. So we, can, we as a nation can be saved, my brother. So with that, I'm going to pass it off to the other speakers, man. And with that, we'll say Shalom. Shalom!